going on YouTube? Today is Friday. I'm on vacation, enjoying this beautiful weekend. Came back Tuesday from Columbus, Ohio with a flammable low for the high. Anytime I do flammables, it's for the high. Never for the low, but always for the high each and every time. I believe we did get that contract back, hauling flammables. So I guess I'll be doing that a lot more now, which will give me a uh, a real good steady paycheck every week like it was in the beginning when I first came here. So that's awesome. That's awesome. We also got food grade. That's, I don't know if that's for the high. I'm not gonna, it's not for the low. It's kind of in between. Kind of in between. I got to do the math on that one. I'm not sure about the food grade. It's, it's not for the low, but I don't think it's for the high either. It's in between. In between. We still got some ass down going on. I haven't did it in a while. That right there, I think that's kind of for the low. I think it's kind of for the low. It's too much stuff going on. Too much. It's too time consuming. Too time consuming. If, if the product sit in the trailer too long, you will be fucked. Too time consuming. I didn't know that when I first did the load. I uh, did that load and when I went to go unload it, it was pure glue. So I had to like dig here for free all the way back to Memphis to get the trailer steamed, then go back up for free. I think I made zero dollars on that load. I don't know about that one. I had to get that. I had to get that one another try and see if I can turn a profit on that one. But it didn't go so good at first. But the flat top. I just posted a post on YouTube stories that showed y'all the old flat tops turbo. Now this was the turbo that was already on the flat top when I paid for it uh, from the trucking company I got it from. I forgot the name of the trucking company. Give me a second. I got the title to it right here. Uh, Ed Davenport down in Braided, Texas. By the way, speaking of titles. Blue title. On the back of this title. You see this? See all this? When someone owns the truck and they're showing you the title, make sure you flip it to the back and make sure it don't have any lien holders on the back of the title because... If there's lien holders on the back of the title, that's who owns the truck, okay? So if you see, like, the bank written on the back of this bitch, and the truck is like $100,000, the bank owns the truck, okay? They got the lien on the title. So keep that in mind. I saw some, uh, saw a driver trying to scam people into thinking he owned the truck. But it's lien holders written out on the back of it. Don't, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. But of course, people wouldn't know that. They just show you the front of the title. Oh, man, he owns it. He, no, no, he don't own the truck. He, he's just BSing. The tow truck could come any day now and repossess it. Flat top turbo. Like I was saying, I just posted a picture of the serial number of the old flat top turbo that was already on the flat top. It was an aftermarket Boyle Warner turbo. So when I bought the truck, they had already obviously used that turbo for i don't know maybe a one year plus i don't know how long they hit the turbo on that but when i got the truck obviously i ran the truck for a year and a half and the turbo never went out but keep in mind it was aftermarket it was a boy worn a turbo okay now what i want you to do is i want you to take the serial number off that turbo it starts with the letter a take that number okay go to google.com Type that serial number in. I want you to price the turbo. And whatever prices y'all come up with, write them down in the comment sections down below, okay? Because I'm trying to teach you how to price out the turbo. Is the turbo $9,000 is all I'm asking. Is that, That's what the suit and tie guys told me was $9,000 for, for the Mercedes being turbo. So do, are y'all coming up with $9,000? Comment down below. Now you got to look for yourself. You got the serial number, so tell me, hey, Andrew, nah, man, this is the price. Tell us where you found the price at. I'm just saying, comment down below is all I'm saying. And you can find that picture on YouTube stories. Now, you may have to sort through a lot of stories if you're not 
paying attention to Andrew's story is all the way at the end. So, you got a lot of stuff to uh, sort through there on YouTube stores. By the way, if y'all want to know what I be doing outside of trucking, YouTube stores. <laughs> YouTube stores. <laughs> <laughs> that's that logo life man it, it, youtube stores you're missing out i got like uh right now i think i'm doing uh what did youtube tell me I, i'm doing like uh six hundred thousand views on youtube stores every i think it's every two weeks so about 1.2 million views a month on youtube stories so check that out man y'all need to subscribe to don't just watch. Hit the subscribe button too, okay? You got to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. You got to hit all that. That way, when something come out, you can be informed. Plus, it helps the channel also. Even though I keep my channel private, it helps the channel. It helps the channel. Now, now that you found the price of the turbo, hopefully, right? Let's talk about the in-frame kit. I got the in-frame kit from MD Distributor, which is also where you can type in a turbo number. At, you know, you can go on their website, find it too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Make sure now, now when you go to Google now, you gotta make sure whatever link you click, you know, make sure you go in the description of the turbo. It may say something like cross-reference. Just make sure that number is in there, okay? Because it's compatible. You know, they got like cross-references. Just make sure it matches, okay? Make sure it match. You got to do your research. It's not hard to find. I'm trying to teach you something. So, you know, you may go to Freightliner, come as they may try. Yo, Turbo, $9,000. $20,000. I mean, you know, you can't get it nowhere else besides us. So, you got the 20000 or you got the 9000 Most people just swipe a credit card. So, would it be American Express or Chase? Neither. It's going to be have a nice day. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> I told SoCal, man, I said when they when they quoted me like thirty to forty thousand dollars for the whole over, I said they must be used to people just walking in here swiping the credit card. They know you're not paying cash. They know it's either American Express or Chase. So which one is it gonna be today, Mr. Andrew? Is it American Express or is it Chase? No, it's not gonna be neither. And have a nice day. Where's my key? Go get go get my keys, goddammit. It's not going to be neither one. It's going to be cash, like I've always been paying. I don't want to give you $30,000. That's like starting a truck Nova all over again. So why would I do that? For what? No, no, no. It's not going to be American Express or Express American. It ain't going to be none of that. It's going to be, I'm up out of here. Give me my keys to my truck. Have a nice day. Also, when you got the title to the truck, if you ever get in one of those situations to where you got a quote so fucking big to where you don't even want to spend the money, you can always store the truck. And you stored his truck for free. All summer. Ain't paid a dollar for storage. I'll take that back. I think I did pay Crows. I paid him for a month. I think it was like two I think it was two hundred dollars or something like that. But uh even though they told me it was two hundred dollars, they didn't charge me for it. So But I did owe them fifteen hundred dollars. Was it fifteen? No, I went fifty was it eleven? Eleven fifty, I think. That was for breaking down the engine of the truck, so. But I already paid that. That's when I paid them and got my keys to the truck. So, I did a video on that. So, if you want to know what the actual price was, you got to go back and watch that video where you can see those actual prices. So, I told y'all the price of the turbo. The overall kit was $3,100 from MD Distributor, which also sells their bull on a turbo. It's also some other places that hey, you ain't got to go to board. I mean, MD Distributor find that turbo. Just go to Google. You tell us what the turbo costs. Now, as far as the water pump, oil pump, oil cooler, I got all that from Freightliner. Uh, the water pump and the oil pump range between $200 to $400. You got to bring the core back, which is the old part on the truck. You got to bring that back. And that's about average of what those parts cost each uh the oil cooler i think i paid i think that was about six hundred dollars for the oil cooler that was put on by my shop at the terminal so um now none of those parts are going to be replaced they all 2020 parts brand new on the truck uh 
probably all got less than, I don't know, 20,000 miles. No, they ain't got that much. Probably less than 10,000 miles on all that shit. Because as soon as it got put on, the truck really didn't do too much. So, uh, I believe I put it on. I did a load to Phoenix, Arizona. Did two loads to Dallas, and that was it. So, probably less than 10,000 miles on those parts. Now, all those parts are under warranty. So, uh, like SoCal was telling me, if I wanted to replace any of those parts, I just take them off the truck, take them up to a Freightliner, and just swap them out. It's under warranty. Just swap it out, get a new one. Well, it's going to be remanufactured, of course, and go put the new remanufactured part back on. But I don't want to do that because, like I said, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I ain't going to say I don't want to do it. I'll think about it. I would think about it if I was y'all. I don't know, man, because the parts already work. They already remanufactured. It's not too many miles on it. I don't know if I would go to swap it out. Because if you swap it out, the next one may not work. You know that these are... Because remember, the first oil pump they put on at Crow's failed. The first one that... Um, remember, I bought, a, I bought an oil pump for Freightliner. That one failed. We had to swap that one out. And the second one is the one that worked. So if you swap it out again, the third one may not work. And it was all remanufactured, so it's not guaranteed. But you know the ones that's on that now work, okay? Now, what else? What else? What else? Uh, as far as the heads go, the heads, Crows had told me the heads didn't need to be replaced whatsoever. And trust me, if it needed replaced, Crows would have did everything they could to, yep, you need new heads. Well, what's the price? $5,000. Will that be American Express or Chase? <laughs> it's not going to be neither. Have a nice day. Now, like I said, they said I didn't need no heads, so we didn't put no, no new heads on there. As far as injectors go, injectors are the only thing I didn't get. Uh, those can be done in the future. I don't know what the price on injectors was. Now, injector nozzles, which is what they wanted me to replace, I believe those was like six to $700 for a pack of sits. But I think I wanted to replace the whole fuel unit also, so I didn't do that. But y'all let me know. Should I just did the nozzles only? It didn't really make sense to me. Y'all got to comment on that one. Replace the injector nozzles or the entire injectors with the fuel unit up top. Y'all got to let me know about that one. But the moral of the story is, oh, and as far as labor, the label was three thousand. It wasn't thirty five hundred. He went down five hundred on the price. But uh, other than that, man, you don't have to go broke trying to rebuild a truck. Okay, you don't have to pay nine thousand dollars for a turbo. You can get multiple quotes. If you ain't got the money, they got storage yards. Just for you. For people to own this shit, you can go put it in stores for as long as you want. Now, as far as storage prices, on average, it's about 100 to 150 a month, just to give you an idea. Uh, that's here in Memphis. I don't know about other places all around the world, but here in Memphis, it's about 100 to 150 a month to store a truck. And I guess a trailer, too. I don't think it's not a separate price. It's one unit, one whole unit. 100 to 150 so what else man what else hey man if y'all want to buy a truck and you ain't got the maintenance money buy the truck and go put it in storage go park it hey i bought my truck and guess what i did i parked it for two months and went company parked it at justin lewis shop down in brady test brady texas just kept working company saved up put a little bit into the truck here and now but it's a lot of ways to uh to do it, man, you don't have to save the money for a truck, then continue saving this twenty to thirty to forty thousand. I don't know what, man. I don't, man, I heard some crazy shit on YouTube. Um, buy the truck and park it, man. You know what I'm saying? Buy the truck and park it. Figure it out later. Figure it out later. I don't want to tell y'all how much money you need in maintenance, but what I will tell you is, when Andrew bought his truck, he had zero dollars left over. 
I didn't have no $20,000 on the side, 15 out of 30. I didn't have none of the stuff that all the other YouTubers recommended. I had $0. I had a credit card, you know what I'm saying, over $50,000 on the limit. But that wasn't no option, man. I wasn't trying to credit card a goddamn thing. I don't. Will it be American Express or Chase? Neither. It's going to be give me my keys. I'll figure it out later. Figure it out later. Because if I did swipe the credit card in the beginning, when they asked, is it American Express or Chase? Oh, it's American Express. Yeah, American Express, $30,000. Yeah, $30,000. Now I'm sitting here driving with a $30,000 bill, a truck note all over again. Not even knowing that there was a, a way cheaper option. I'm sitting over here with a $9,000 turbo on a Mercedes being like a dumbass. Because I don't want to, because everybody, oh, oh, Andrew, you don't have $30,000? Oh, you must be broke. You must be broke, Andrew. You don't have $30,000. You know, $9,000 is pretty cheap, Andrew. You don't have $9,000 for a turbo? But you're supposed to be this big hot shot on YouTube. You don't, you, you don't have the money, Andrew? What's, what's going on? I tell you, what's going on, Andrew? You don't have the money? I don't understand. Why Why, why do you not have the money? I don't what like $30,000. That, that should be no problem for you, Andrew. What's going on? Will it be American Express? Or will it be Chase? It's going to be neither. Give me my goddamn keys. I'll figure it out later.